I think with summertime and the kids being at school and being bored, it has gone up here lately. Natalie Young lives just south of Clintonville and says graffiti artists have hit her home three times. She says the problem is getting worse. She sees her neighbors out cleaning it up all the time. It's a problem the city says it's taking very seriously. They see graffiti, it could be a gang tag sign, it could be uh, just foolish kids going out and tagging buildings, but whatever it is, people feel unsafe, businesses don't want to relocate there, people don't want to go shop there. So this is a, a problem that's plaguing the city of Columbus. City Council proposes this. All property owners would have 30 days to remove graffiti and could face up to $500 in fines and 60 days in jail. University Area Commissioner Ian McConnell says rapid removal is key. The quicker you can get, you require people to have it removed, um, the, the, the less likely they're going to, um, vandals are going to target that area again. Some people think it's picking on the victims. If you're strapped for money or you don't have the time, I would not want to pay a fine from the city on top of, you know, trying to clean it up and pay for that too. Businessman John Huffman feels the 30-day time frame is too much of a threat, and there are other solutions out there. The old ways of solving problems aren't going to work. You've got to be creative and involve the community. Find out why people are tagging, who's doing the tagging. Can you police the area better? So what's being done to punish the taggers? Right now, it's a first-degree misdemeanor. Seth King is doing 180 days in jail time after he was caught tagging up and down High Street. City Council hopes to get more support for their graffiti crackdown tonight. In Columbus, Steve Wangfor, NBC4.